Good afternoon, everybody. This is Amy and Haley, and we are going to be doing some beautiful rock art today. We found this one on my last day of school. And so this is one we're going to be painting. Let me make sure that I can find our video so I can see your guys' comments. Oh, we are crooked. Will that adjust, Dustin? Maybe it's lighting. Hold on, Haley. I'm trying to make my uh, tablet show us. Do you have me in the camera here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So all the initial comments is that you're sideways. Okay. I was hoping we could film horizontal horizon view, but apparently that doesn't work. So Dustin is rotating the camera. So it said two. It's still not rotating on my screen. But well, maybe that's 30 second delay. All right, how is everyone doing today? This is our third art break from home. We wiggling the table. Watch this, Haley. You can see this go. Okay. All right, so we are going to be painting dot art today on rock. These are really fun ways to do mandalas and other circular art. I hope that you guys all had a chance to find some plain wa rocks, wash them good so there's no loose dirt on them. If there's a lot of loose dirt, your um, paint will not stick good. We are going to need, we're going to need some paint palettes or a paper plate or even a plastic plate. These are from the dollar store. These work good for washing off afterwards or don't wash a bunch of acrylic paint down your sink, otherwise it clogs your drain. Um, but that's going to cause a problem, isn't it, everybody? Yep. We should just turn it all the way down to zero. Okay. Everyone hearing this would hear it again. There you go. Is that better on the sound also, you guys? I didn't realize my tablet was still going until I heard my voice to the side. Um, these plates are great for using also as a palette, and then I can let the paint dry and peel it off and then just wash the little bit of remaining paint on here instead of washing all of your acrylic down because acrylic will turn into a hard plastic mass inside of your drains. Some of the other tools we will need today. <laughs> I have a set of paint daughters. I actually have a couple different sets. And you can see that they have different size tips on that side as well as this side. They come in a wooden version also. Or if you don't have a bunch of art supplies at home, you can use a pencil and both the circle end of the eraser as well as the pointy tip can be different sizes of painting tool. You can use Q-tips. You can use sucker sticks. These are from candy making for like um, cake pops and things. Uh, for, um, or you could use the end of a sucker that you've cleaned off or haven't eaten yet. Here's a wooden dowel. This one is a little one that came out of a stick art or scratch art pack. I think it was a Melissa and Doug stick art or scratch art stick. And then there's a dowel, the spot here, and the spot here. These will give you a variety of dot sizes to work with. So Haley, are you going to use the daughters or the... I'm probably going to use different shapes. You'll use different ones? Okay. We'll just make a little pile here. Okay. Can you use the end of a paintbrush? Maybe a hand ink. 
Yeah, that's how we met. Okay. So the next step that you're going to need to do is you're going to take your little paint palette. Oh, and I have a paper towel here for cleaning my my um, daughter's off. Not my daughter. Well, maybe her too. But my daughter's off between colors. Do I need to clean your face? I only lost it. She ate a cookie right before we uh, went on, and so I told her she had to wash her face right before. So it's only clean. But it doesn't stain on my back. You don't have to fill your wells of paint super thick or full because we're just using teeny tiny dots. You can always come back and add more paint. I need to buy some yellow paint, you guys. Oh no. <laughs> You have to use the yellow <laughs> frosting. Yeah, we did cookies and decorated them in yellow this morning. So uh, it's hard. This must be a favorite color of mine. Yellow. I have a garbage can here. I'm not just shoving it on the floor. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like mustard. This time. What comes next, Haley? We have red, orange, orange yellow, yellow, green, and then blue. I don't have purple today. Uh, oh, here's a purple. Nope, that's empty too. With my face. Quick, kid, entertain them. Apparently, I'm out of purple. Watch your arm, please. Ooh, that one's kind of lumpy green. <laughs> I don't know, that one looks like it got a little dried out. It looks like caterpillar. So if you have some acrylic that's getting dry, you could maybe attempt to add a few drops of water and stir it really well. But oh, I don't have water in here. Mix so. cuddles. Okay. Or we'd mix the blue and the green and make some, or blue and yellow to make green. Is this one empty? Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty empty. We can try it if you want. Okay, well, I'll try this one. I think it's empty, too, though. You want dark blue? Dark blue that one's not even worth keeping. Guys, I need to go paint shopping after we can go out of the house See, again. That works as... That works as purple, or at least another shade of blue. Yep. So here we have a beautiful rainbow of colors. We need a little bit of white to go with that. So... Okay. We can make pink. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I need to select my rock. I want a nice big platform. I like this rock. This has a nice smooth surface for painting on. And for our first step, Haley, we're going to take a dot. And I'm going to start with a larger dot. And I think I'm going to do white for my first dot. I was going to do that too. I'm going to stick it in the center of my rock. Oh, Haley's going rogue and putting it wherever she wants. I'm making a border. Oh, she's making a border. I'm going to work from the center outward. because I find that easier for me. You can work from the outside in. And I'm going to start with kind of a little flower shape. See everybody? If you guys are logging on, um, go ahead and say something. I'm not seeing any more comments come on, so I don't know uh, who all's seeing. How do we wash them? How do we wash them? That's why we have our paper towel, and we're going to wipe them off. Uh, I didn't want to add a bunch of water to our project. I wanted the paint to stay fairly thick, so we're just going to wipe our tool off between times. If you wanted, you could use a brush and wash, or you could even wash yeah. these off between steps, but a paper towel should be Here's my littler stick, and I'm going to go in with some blue. Oh, the lighter blue, I think. Yep, that's lighter blue. Oh. And I'm going to add some little dots between. What happens if you get paint on your hand and you have a little bad itch on the top of your nose? Hi, Bob. Thanks for saying something. 
Hi, Heather. Hmm. Don't eat this paint. You could eat frosting. But you might want to make sure your rock is scrubbed very clean. <laughs> or make some cookies that look like rocks. That looks pretty cool. So we only make okay, two here we go. Hi, Xavier. How are you doing? So you can see that the first white dots that I did were just kind of in a flower shape. Now I'm working with the light blue and I'm extending outward from it. You can choose to change your color at any time. You could make the dots the same size or a different size. Haley's getting paint everywhere. It came off of my napkin. <laughs> I put my elbow veil. To be honest, we normally would do something like this outside yeah. or at our kitchen table where we have a little more space. All right, this, oh. this is damp if you need to use that. Okay, so we have, I have this little design going. Now I'm going to go back in with another size and add some green. Okay, don't lean on me because you're making my pressure move. Okay, and you guys can see I'm adding some little dots right around here. Oops, it would help if my green was a little fresher. Yes, Haley. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow make green. Do you know what yellow, what green is called, Haley? Um. So if red, yellow, and blue are primary colors, what is green? Ordinary. No. <laughs> Not ordinary. Secondary. Yep. Okay. Are we still filming? Can you see Haley at all? Not really. That's why I keep panning over. Um, can you pull the camera back farther, maybe, and you can get both of us? Here, Haley, really scooch closer. <laughs> Dustin's gonna hopefully not screw this up and move our stand back. Did he do it? Kind of. Kind of. Now can you see us both? Yeah. Okay, now maybe you guys can see us both and see what Haley is saying. Although you'll need to move your rock. Okay. So you can see that as I'm working outward, you guys can add as many or as few dots. This beautiful rock that was the inspiration. Um, it says it's by um, Mallory Alma and she's at Mal Manifest with Mallory. I found this rock downtown by um, Gallery One one day and it has this wonderful quote on it. It says positive mindset leads to a positive life. So <gasps> you guys, Haley just broke my new daughter tool. My daughter broke my daughter. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's what I was saying. <laughs> oh, you can hide rocks. So if you choose to hide these rocks, paint your rock, let it completely dry, and then you can either seal it with a brush on sealer, which you can tell this one was brushed on across the top, or you can use something like um, a clear coat spray yeah. paint, which is what I would prefer to do personally. Um, and you can write little messages on the back and hide them. There's a uh, Paint Rocks Ellensburg, if you want to write that on the back of your rock. But there's one thing. Everyone almost always writes, God is Lord. Oh, or yeah, something we find a like lot of those that. downtown. But uh, what we can do is hide the rocks downtown, and when other people find them, they can go on and post out it. And you can see how far your rock gets to travel. Sometimes they travel across the country, and sometimes they even travel clear around the world. So if you put a little spot for someone to come locate you, um, you might get to see where your rock goes. So I'm going to try this. I don't know how well it's going to work because I haven't let my white 
dry as long as I normally would want to do. We're going to try dotting a little bit of orange on top of that and see. But it's an alt class, so we can't wait for our roll. Still a little too wet, okay? So we have to let it dry a little longer. Oops, come on, wet it off me. <laughs> How many of you guys have painted a rock before? Me. Leave us a <laughs> Haley and I have done this before. We've painted rocks that look like strawberries to go in our strawberry planters. To make sure the birds don't eat our wheels. Yeah, it's supposed to keep the birds from eating your real strawberries. If you paint, put painted rocks in your strawberry patch before your strawberries are actually ripe, the birds will get used to trying to eat those red rocks. And then when your real red strawberries are nice and ripe and juicy, then the birds will think that there's just still a rock and they will leave them alone, supposedly. Oh, the last game on time. In the meantime, your strawberry patch looks really pretty. So you guys can see that I'm just kind of starting to work around these little existing dots to build it out. Trying to <gasps> keep... How did that blue smell? Probably with your rag. Mm -hmm. Don't let that fall on our carpet, okay? Whoops. Kind of looks pretty, though. So you can put as many or as few dots on here. Uh, Just set it down so you don't smear it, kiddo. Make a new walk. Now I need to go back to the walk. Good thing I have a jumbo pack of wipes, right? <laughs> They're coming in handy right now. Wipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would need them? Who would need wipes in this house? I don't know. <laughs> who, who could that be? Oh, of course, it's the cat. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyways, really, we need to worry about our spoiler pets because we have a cat that normally likes to eat the boards. What did he say? How's everyone doing? Do you guys have any questions on how to do this? Let me know in the comments. Send like me if a comment. it stains. What do you mean if it stains? Then it stains clothes. Or carpets or anything. Yes, acrylic paint will stain fabric and carpet. So don't drop it in the carpet. Wear your trusty apron. <laughs> Haley has, um, can you stand up real quick, Haley? It's my art for all. It's an art for all one from last year's Gallery One Summer Camp. Yeah, huh? I have more of them. We have a few of those from various summer camps. If my mom would teach, then I would do art classes, different art classes, so I get many of them. Yeah. This is a really relaxing process if you go nice and slow. Haley likes to go fast on her artwork. I honestly feel like I could take all day doing something like this and be really relaxed. But you can see how little of paint we are using. Um, that's why I said not to overload your palette. You can always add a little bit more. And then as your rock dries, or your paint dries rather, you can go back in and layer on top of it. But right now my paint is still a little damp, so it's hard not to pull up the previous layer. Um, with a really gentle hand you can do it. I miss seeing you guys in person in the classroom at Gallery One. So if you make your artwork, can you please send me a photo of it? You can post it on Gallery One's Facebook page. Level. Um, at um, Hash, you can well you can post it on our Facebook page or you can uh, post it and do hashtag uh, Ellen Gallery One Ellensburg Gallery One O N E Ellensburg and then we'll get to see your beautiful artwork. How do you know a tour will break? Um, don't pull on them so hard. 
You gotta be delicate with them. Last delicate. time when I do them, the one that I broke, I was like that, and then that part came off. These are brand new tools that I got. Well, I've had them for a while, but this is the first time we're using it for this. First time ever, and then we actually break one. <laughs> What's this Wii stuff? You broke it. Yeah, but you're using them too. <laughs> your nose itches? It's all, your nose always itches when your hands are dirty with either paint or in the middle of baking something and you can't itch your nose. Oh, thanks for the assist by Dad. <laughs> hey, you didn't mess up my battle! <laughs> How did he mess it up? I hit the tool. Oh no, he hit the tool. More my hand. So what have you guys been doing? Has anyone checked out the L um, the Gallery One website page? We have our um, I know Haley, please don't. We have um, a wonderful online showing of a book, and I just forgot the name of it. Sarah can help me out here with the name of that book and maybe even link it. Um, check it out, Justin. Gibbons artwork is beautiful with it. You can also purchase his artwork or prints of his artwork. If you could go on a walk daily, it'd be a great place to find some more rocks to paint. Well, well, when you go for a walk outside, down the road, to the park. I don't go to the park. Um, careful. Yes, yeah, Sherry, we're using acrylic paint. And then I would seal, I'd let it dry completely and then seal it with like a spray sealer. You could brush on a sealer. Um, I don't remember the brand of mine, but it's most likely Rust-Oleum Clear. That way, when you put it outside, the paint will stay in place for you and not wash off. Oh, oh she got her arm again. Ooh, very nice. Yours kind of looks like a uh, fireworks. Huh? Oh my, look at those arms. Ooh, Haley looks like a firework too. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, she got it on my table, past my little. Whoa, 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 don't scrub so hard. They all came off. You're wiggling my art. How am I supposed to do dots right where I want them if you're wiggling? Hi, Jonica. How are you guys doing? Hi, Lucas. Are you painting with us? Okay, that's enough for now, Haley. I can't paint while you're doing that. So as you can see, I started from the middle, made my flower shape, and then I am just working my way carefully outward from that point. I'm trying to keep it symmetrical. Trying being a keyword when your table wiggles. So you can see that it's working outward. I think that I will go a little bit farther on mine. I'm going to let it dry a little bit and add a little bit more. Um, I'm going to maybe try and go back on a couple of these real quick and see if I can do it. I want a really teeny tiny dot. This pink one has a super tiny tip on it. So let's try that one. Yep, 
And you can see that as you build the layers and colors, it starts adding a really cool dimension to your piece of art. So let me know if there's any questions or comments, just type them in and I will peek at them and see if I can see them on my other screen to answer any questions you have. I'll go back in and just do some extra dots on those white ones because they're looking a little boring right now. Let's see. Hmm, maybe the dark one. Be good. Turn each of those into a little tiny flower themselves. That'll be kind of cute. Almost got six dots out of one dip, but not quite. Five. Yeah, four and a half. <sighs> Great question. Um, my favorite medium to work with, I work with a lot of different mediums. I do love working with acrylic paints. I like working with watercolors a lot. Um, although I tend to use them a little more saturated and a little bit brighter than the traditional uh, watercolor painter. Um, I also do a lot of stuff in food. So I do a lot of cake decorating and cookie decorating for those of you who don't know me. Um, so I guess sugar might be one of my favorite mediums. How about you guys? Can you let me know what your favorite medium is? I think Haley is done today. She painted two rocks in the time that it took me to do one. Bye. Oh, gotta come around here. Haley's saying bye. Bye. I think she's gonna go outside and play. Nope. No, nope, why not? <laughs> For those of you with school age kids, how are you guys adjusting to everything uh, with your kids at home all the time and with you at home all the time? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit hard. But we're getting there. Yeah, I think she was, she didn't want to run, Haley didn't want to run around outside earlier today. And so I think if she had played earlier outside longer, then she would have sat still and done her work a little slower. As it is, I think it was like, hurry up and go. Think about rotating your tools using different sizes, large dots, small dots, layered dots. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. We're kind of wrapping up to about what I can do on my little rock. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Please let me know. Let me know how you, um, maybe how you found us. Are you a member of Gallery One? Are you one of my Facebook friends or my friends in real life? Are you a friend of the gallery? Let me know how you found us. Let me know if there's a project you guys would like to learn about. I'm trying to keep these projects to ones that hopefully you have supplies around the house that will work for. Um, I know not everyone has daughters, so that's why I have the Q-tips and pencils and 
erasers and everything else that you have a variety of sizes for. Um, I'm going to be doing some toilet paper tube art. Uh, I have a really cool project planned for that one. Um, maybe some friendship bracelets. Anyone want to do something like that? Those would be easy to mail out to your friends and family. Hi Monica, thanks. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty charming little rock, personally. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna write a little um, positive message on the back of it once it's all dry. Um, I'm probably gonna paint it on, not write it on. You can write on it if you have the right kind of pencil. They even make really fun acrylic paint pens that make this super easy for any age of person and it's a little bit cleaner than <laughs> than a seven-year-old was today uh, or six-year-old she's not quite seven um but you can write on the back with those kind of paint pens i'm going to paint it with a skinny point of a paint brush once this is all the way dry because i don't want to smear it approximately how long does it take the acrylic to dry about how long does it take for this to dry? It depends on how thick your dots went. Um, I would probably give this, my center dots are fairly thick still, um, relatively speaking. So I probably wouldn't try to coat this until tomorrow or really late tonight. I would give it probably at least four hours, if not overnight, 12 hours kind of a thing. That way, it, because it'll crust on top before it dries from the underneath side. So, yeah, I would probably give it a minimum of four hours, if not a little longer. Um, if it was really hot, if we were doing this in July or August, we could set these outside in the sunlight and they would dry so fast, so much faster, which is a great way to do art with your friends and your children, is to just hang out outside and paint outside. Could I use a hairdryer? Yes, you could use a hairdryer on it. Um, if you're doing it with little kids, I would suggest putting it on like a trivet or an oven mitt or something like that if they're going to hold it in their hand or setting it on something so the rest of your surface doesn't get too hot as you do it. Um, and keep your, bl your blow dryer at a slight angle so the air can come down and off of it instead of just hitting it straight and it will dry a little faster. I'm reading things and seeing if there's anything new. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, I would love to hear from you. Love to um, hear from you via texts and messages. Um, or even if you guys want to send me a little chat message or something like that, that'd be great. Thank you, Kimber. Thank you, Xavier. I hope your mom will post me a picture of your artwork. All right. Bye, everyone. See you next week at 1 o'clock.